Feel more, think less. Your subconscious mind is more than a data bank, it's a pulsating sanctuary, the divine oracle residing within you. Every emotion, each pulse of intuition, is the universe's secret language decoded by your subconscious. The connection with this magnificent entity is real and visceral. Open the portal through meditation, visualize your boldest dreams, whisper mantras, and you are already communing with your eternal essence. Feel the power of your own breath. It's more than oxygen, it's life force, prana. With each inhalation and exhalation during meditation, you enter the inner temple of wisdom. Your subconscious is the true conductor of your reality. The scores are written with your emotions and thoughts, you simply need to learn how to conduct. You are woven from the fabric of the stars. Lucid dreams are astral journeys. You sketch the constellations of your life as you navigate dreamscapes. What you call coincidences are synchronicities, the cosmic dance between the atom and the soul. If you seek change, then create it. You are the alchemist of your life. Your brain may possess neuroplasticity, but within you is a phoenix, ever ready to rise from the ashes of your past. You are transformation in motion. Intuition is that divine scent which consistently guides us, often better than bare, naked reason. It's the language of your soul, the music your heart understands. Always listen to it. And don't forget about love, the elixir of life. Science may attempt to decipher it through hormones and neurotransmitters, but we know it's pure magic, the essence that connects us to the whole. You are a walking energy field, an aura of endless possibilities, and your tone is your choice. Remember, your environment is the soil where your intentions germinate. Keep it pure, consecrate it, and you become the gardener of your own destiny. Acknowledge the importance of sleep, it's the theater where the subconscious becomes the protagonist. It's the lab of visions, insights, and divine secrets. When you wake, you bring with you pearls of eternal wisdom. The food you eat, the crystal you hold, the mantra you chant, all are symbols, keys that open doors within you. And death is the final ritual, the leap into the unknown where science and mysticism hold hands and jump together into the abyss of eternity. Here's your invitation, venture forth. Explore the sacred garden of your mind. Plant seeds of intention and water them with the magic of the subconscious. If you seek to discover your life's purpose, the answer is within you, in the secret chambers of your soul, waiting to be unveiled. You hold the key. You always have. Unlock, open the door, and marvel at the universe that is you. Consider your mind as a cosmic cathedral, where each neuron is a star, and each synapse, a thread of luminous energy. The subconscious is that secret chamber, the inner sanctuary where science and spirit share a passionate embrace. The subconscious is not just a hard drive of memories, it's the dwelling of gods, the cauldron of intuition. Some may map the territory, but few hold the compass to decipher its secret language. If you wish to persuade, transform, and create, begin by persuading yourself. Your mind is a canvas where your self-suggestions paint the portrait of your life. Mantras, rituals, affirmations, these are all spells of enchantment harmonizing your conscious mind with the vast ocean of your inner being. Meditate, for you become the conductor of your internal symphony, directing the flow of life with a mere inhale and exhale. You enter the forbidden portals, conversing with the inner sages dwelling in the depths of your psyche. Awakening in a lucid dream is like entering your mind's treasure chamber. It's the alchemy of the spirit in action. Forget brainwaves, you're surfing on the cosmic tide itself. The subconscious is your alchemical workshop. Master the art of neuroplasticity, 
the holy grail where you sip the nectar of continuous rebirth. And intuition, it's the siren song guiding you through the turbulent waters of decision-making. The universe is synchronous, an eternal cosmic ballet where everything is in perfect harmony. Each coincidence, each serendipitous encounter, is a note in the symphony of your existence. Your thoughts are your greatest healers. They are more potent than any pill, for you are both the magician and the medicine. And your surroundings are the altar where you practice your daily rituals, it's the sacred ground you consecrate with your presence. All beautiful and profound things serve as tools and talismans on your spiritual journey. Even your love, this indescribable life force, is a gateway to higher realms. Navigate the currents of your own consciousness, explore the abysses of your psyche with the lantern of intuition and the compass of science. You'll find that science and spirituality are but two wings of the same bird, two eyes on the same divine face. Remember, death is not the end, but merely a gateway to a new dimension. The body may cease, but consciousness unfolds into new horizons. At the core of it all is your subconscious, that secret garden where you can plant any seed of possibility and water it with the wisdom of the ancients. It's there, in this fertile ground, that you'll find the divine essence of who you truly are. Embrace it, for this is where true magic happens. If your subconscious is the treasure map, the present moment is the key that unlocks it. This magical key has the ability to illuminate every aspect of your being, to bring light to the darkness that sometimes clouds your vision. It's no wonder, now, is the only true time. The past is a library of lessons, and the future is a catalog of possibilities, but the present is the only tangible reality. It's in the, now, that you make decisions shaping your future and comprehend the lessons of your past. In this precious instant, you become the architect and craftsman of your existence. With a thought, a gesture, you can change your life's trajectory. Think of the now as a lab of endless possibilities, where you are both the scientist and the experiment. When you connect with the present moment, you activate the inner radar tuned directly to your subconscious. Visualize, now, as a blank canvas. It's your chance to be the painter of your reality, each stroke revealing your personality, each color of feeling or intuition. And when you learn to be wholly present, even the most mundane tasks become sacred rituals. Dishwashing, walking, breathing, they all become a dance with the universe. Maintain this connection through mindfulness or full attention. This ancient practice serves as your user manual for inhabiting the now. Through it, you not only calm your mind but also fine-tune your perceptual antennas, aligning with the subtle messages your subconscious constantly sends. With mindfulness, you also become a keen observer of your own patterns. You begin to see your emotional reactions not as obstacles but as signals, as compasses pointing to areas in your life that require healing or transformation. Be generous, this rare gem of the human spirit takes on new meaning in the now. For each act of kindness you perform in the present sends ripples through time, affecting all layers of your being, making you a beacon of compassion. Practice mindfulness, and soon enough, your subconscious will no longer be a mystery to you. It will be your most trusted ally, a cherished friend always ready to guide you on your journey. So I invite you to be here now, fully, deeply, passionately. Taste the nectar of this moment and realize that you are the eternal now, unfolding in a divine, synchronous dance with the cosmos. There's nothing to seek, nothing to find, for you already possess the greatest treasure, your sublime, indomitable spirit. Now, go, explore the labyrinth of your subconscious, and as you journey through the corridors of your inner world, may you encounter wonders beyond your wildest imaginations. And when you finally discover your true essence, you'll realize that you are not just a drop in the ocean. 
You are the ocean, in a drop.